It is Wednesday evening here and I just got back from a full day of setting at school and I'm gonna do a little bit more relaxed studying. Involves watching a bunch of kind of review type videos and um, taking some notes and while I watch those videos I like to do some knitting in the evening. It's kind of calming and, re and relaxing and it keeps me awake um, after what I think it's already been 14 hours of studying today. So I'm going to go ahead and get to that. It is Saturday and the week does not stop for me. I'm up early this morning and I already did a question block. And so now I'm gonna spend a couple hours reviewing this. The exciting news is that my mom is coming to town for a couple days from California. She's gonna be here. Once I finish up um, doing a little studying this morning, I will uh, go head to the airport to pick her up and I think we're gonna take the afternoon off. It'll be perfect timing. I'm about halfway through. I think my test is officially three weeks from yesterday. So you can see I've got my cowl over here staring at me longingly. Uh, I'm gonna try to maybe do a little work on that either today or this evening. So I'm on my way to pick up my mom from the airport. I'm super excited, um, but I wanted to show you guys my little garden here that I've got going. I built this garden raised bed about a year ago so this is our second crop planting um, we've got a bunch of seeds actually some of them are just starting to pop up here i think this warm weather that we've got going on right now is going to really be helpful it was got a little frosty there for a bit my mom arrived yesterday so i went to go pick her up at the airport we went out and got some lunch yesterday and we walked around downtown oak park a little bit we actually stopped by fiberista club one of the local yarn stores around here and shopped around they're actually celebrating their sixth month anniversary and Allie and i are actually going to go meet up with hunter next weekend to do a little interview about their shop so at fiberista club they had a trunk show going on with ba yarn and so i asked my mom if she had any yarns that she saw that she liked and she picked out this beautiful blue sock yarn it's the their power blue colorway in their La Jolla so it's 100% superwash merino so she's excited to have a pair of socks I actually have not knit her a pair of socks before and when she found out they could be put in the washing machine she was even more excited just been shopping around oh there's my mom and then tonight we just have an, a relaxing night in store I'm going to be working on my two projects that I'm trying desperately to finish so I've got one more lace section about 15 rows to go so I finished the stripe section on my cameo shawl. So I'll be starting the lace section next. So it'll be nice to switch it up. And I forgot to mention the most important part, enjoying some great wine. So my mom loves to pour a nice full glass, which is always nice. This is actually our cup from our uh, spring formal. So we just had the most delicious dinner and my mom and I got some ice cream from this little place that's an actual hole in the wall and it's called hole in the wall um, custard shop and they dip it in butterscotch my mom's already finished half of her cone i'm about to move on to the lace section as you can see i barely had enough of my original color it is a little tiny nub played some serious yarn chicken here um, I started hiding it in my project bag so I wouldn't have to worry after every row how, how about how much I had left. And we are currently washing the giants while we work on this knitting. That's Madison Bumgarner, our pitcher. So on to the lace section. So I just got back from dropping my mom off at the airport. Um, so she was here for four days and was wonderful. She cleaned my apartment and cooked me so much food and my freezer is completely stocked now. It was it was perfect timing halfway through my studying to have her come and visit. So I dropped her off. I'm feeling very refreshed for the next couple of days and get back to it tomorrow. I'm only a couple rows in. Probably can't see it. Slowly but surely. 
usually is that I, once I end my studying night, which is around 9 or 9.30, I have about enough energy to do maybe two rows, so. Phew, Warriors won. I finished a couple rows of my knitting. I'm exhausted from watching this game. Steph Curry and Clay Thompson, the stars of our team tonight. And with that, I am off to bed. I am out doing errands, and I've been waiting for their new blue skies to show you this little well-kept secret about our school. Here's part of the hospital, outpatient center, the city outline, and then beyond that is the lake, so. I um, took a practice test this morning. I'm about a week and a half away from my exam date, which is both exciting and terrifying. As Melissa from the Spicy Homemaker podcast said to me last night, it's so true that the last home stretch of any anything, is it always feels like it's the longest, the hardest. You're running out of energy, so I try to stay motivated and push through. But I have managed to make some progress on my projects. So I wanted to give you guys a quick update. I've done a lot on this guy recently. The lace has been fun, it's addicting, and I'm about, I think, five rows away from the Pico bind off, so. This is the Cyborg Craft Room yarn here at the bottom in Sardinopolis. Striped with that is some deep stash that I bought way back in college, and I have no idea what it is. Got some fun little stitch markers on here, and then my new, Nitpick needles, the um, Caspian colors. These have been great. I'm already taking advantage of using two of these at once. They come with four of the interchangeable cords. I'm taking the opportunity to uh, have a minute outside here. It's the first time I've been outside all day and it's gorgeous out, a little windy. But I also wanted to take the chance to show you guys my finished cameo shawl. Um, I finished it up last night. I was just too excited not to wear it today. It's not blocked. At least the ends are tied in, so that's a plus. But I just, I love it so much. I love the colors. I just love everything about it. And it's going to go with a bunch of my kind of more neutrals and spice up some of my outfits. So off to the gym, going to get a little lift in, a little bike, do some studying, um, and then back to the grind for the evening. But at least I have my shawl to keep me happy. So I don't remember the last time I showed you the garden, but I just came back from school and things have exploded since about yesterday, I think. I think it rained last night. So I have some carrots and then the green beans have, like I said, they just totally exploded last night. You have Swiss chard, two rows of lettuce. I think the early rain kind of washed out some of the seeds, so I'm not sure why the, the rows are so dysfunctional looking. And we've got some beets over here that are gonna be underground. Got some herbs and then four carrot plants. We also have our flowers are finally perking back up with some of the rain. So we've got some color in here. So I'm just getting back from another day at school studying. The end is in sight, which I'm really excited about. So I did want to show you, I finally finished my Adama cowl, which has been on the needle since January. I was able to finish that at school today, you know, just in time for the 85 degree weather, of course. This morning I'm setting from home, so I took a little afternoon run here to the town next to a couple towns over from where I live. It becomes really nice and I love running around this area because it's great for kind of looking at all the fancy houses. So you can see there are some huge, ginormous, very beautiful houses. Um, in this area. It doesn't look like much, but it's actually a candy factory. They make, I think, basically anything but chocolate candy. So the fun thing is, is when you run over this overpass over here, they have the air vents coming out and it smells like you're running through probably a mixture of Starburst, Skittles, and those, um, it always reminds me of those sniffy pens that smelled like cherry and watermelon and black licorice. Taking a little break, and now that I basically have everything off my needles, other than the two rows that I cast on for that baby sweater, my next project is to get through, I've got two sock yarns that I'm gonna make socks out of. Very pink, which is unlike me. The colorway is like cotton candy or something, really uh, cute name. I like that it has a lot of uh, 
different tones in there. And then this one is Twitter Painted from Nicole at Hue Loco, which is also going to be fun. So I'm actually going to knit that with, ooh, it looks kind of black. It's a purple. There's tiny little speckles of dark purple in there. And so this will be the heels, toe, and cuff. So my plan is to do a two at a time sock, which I've never done before. So I'm going to do a little research. I think I'm gonna try Hermione's Everyday Sock just because everyone raves about that. And I know that Allie knitted Nicole's yarn up for that pattern back when we did the test knit for Nicole. So I think that will go well with this Remember how an hour ago I was super pumped about starting my two at a time socks and had my pattern picked out and the yarn was ready to go? I don't have size one needles. Womp womp, don't have the right needles. The two at a time socks are gonna have to wait. Hey, so my haircut today went well. Most of the rest of my day has been spent packing because I leave for home tomorrow, so I'm super excited about that. I have my list here of all of my projects that I've got coming up. Which yarns I'm going to be using, what needles I need to bring home, just because I am going to be home for two weeks with no work, no school, no nothing. So I'm hoping to get a lot done. Um, my mom and I are also going to be crafting and making some um, project bags and whatnot. I'm going to be working on my mom's Christmas present as well as I found a cowl pattern today. I think it's. I think I'm gonna do the one called Dovetail Cowl on Ravelry, and I'm gonna use my hand dyed yarn from Yarn Con. So I just finished up some studying at my local library here in Mill Valley and I just wanted to take a minute to show you guys how cool the trees are around here. It's easy growing up around here to take the redwoods for granted, but getting to study in a library that's nested in a forest of redwoods is pretty darn cool. So I got a little mail today from Allie. First up, we've got my new project bag from Anne at HKNT. I love the colors in the yarn, or the, not the yarn, <laughs> fabric. And I'm totally loving how this bag sits open and sits up here on the table. And of course, I'm just loving these bright, fun colors. My Wool in the Gang yarn with the awesome packaging. So I got two shiny happy cotton yarns. This one is an ultraviolet. It's a super deep purple. Really like it. And then this one is TV static. Also pretty fun. I'm gonna knit up some wedding gifts for my friends who are getting married at the end of the month. And these are kind of their school colors. They went to um, Northwestern. And then I also got my Sucra Sucra stitch marker. So this is super cute, very tiny, and adorable. All right, so I just wanted to give you all a quick update. I told you that I had cast on a baby sweater with my new Knit Picks interchangeable needles, and it's turning out to be super cute. So it's knit top down. It's got two sleeves there. Then the front is open, and it will eventually have some buttons down the front. It has a really cute leaf pattern, but there's eventually going to be about five or six leaves down the front. But yeah, I'm loving this so far. Thankfully, it's a baby sweater so it will, will be a small project relatively speaking and I'll have this done soon. So the yarn is Jojo Land Tempo, the same that I knit my blue cowl in. Super super soft and I'm totally loving this color. But yeah I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on this before I sign off until the next video. But thanks again for watching. If you like this video give it a like. Give me some feedback. I know this is my first vlog so it's definitely a learning curve, been something new for me, but something that I'm also definitely really enjoying. Give us a like on YouTube if you've liked this, subscribe to our channel, check us out on Instagram, come to our Ravelry page, we've got a lot of great people on there with fun discussions and tutorials and all that sort of good stuff. So see you on the flip side of my exam and I will be on summer break very soon. Bye!